My name is Jacob Marble. I'm a software engineer at Influx Data. Let's talk about the InfluxDB data model, the internal data model, the way that we store data on disk, called TSM. On the surface, a time series database might look a lot like a relational database, with the difference being a, a simple column time added to every relational table. Many of our customers stored their data in just this way, in a general purpose database, before they upgraded to InfluxDB. By storing time series data in a time series database like InfluxDB, the data is stored and queried much more efficiently. TSM is the storage engine used today in our open source, cloud, and enterprise products. TSM stands for Time Structured Merge Tree, and it's designed around the LSM design, Log Structured Merge Trees. LSM has been used as a foundation for such databases as Cassandra and HBase, for example. We chose LSM to design TSM because it has good read and write characteristics, in particular for time series data. In this example, our weather station collects wind speed in knots and wind direction in degrees every five minutes. We store the data in a measurement called weather, and we store the wind speed in the field called wind speed, and wind direction in the field called wind direction. TSM stores these data in two series. A TSM series is a single value varying with time. TSM will store these series on disk in a columnar format. Let me demonstrate that for you. First, we'll identify our series by a key. The rule to build a key is measurement name, tags, and then field name. So in this measurement, we find two series. This series, measurement weather, field, wind speed, and this series, measurement weather, field, wind direction. The data for each of these series, you can see below the key. In plain English, the way to read a series is like this. Measurement weather indicates that the wind speed was 3.6 knots at 10.15, 3.7 knots at 10.20, and 4.2 knots at 10.25. Similarly, this series reads like this. According to measurement weather, the wind direction at 1015 was 378 degrees. It was 380 degrees at 1020, and at 1025, the wind direction was 383 degrees. As you can see, all of the data found in this InfluxDB measurement can also be found in these TSM series. So I'll say this one more time. This data is represented by two TSM series. A series is a single value varying over time. And TSM stores series as columns on disk. Let's take this one step further. I've added a second weather station and I'm collecting that data in a different location. So I've added a tag location. That tag and its corresponding two values, LAX and SFO, are reflected in the new series. Now the first two series we talked about before, the data itself hasn't changed, but the keys did. This series used to be known as weather speed, but now it's weather location LAX wind speed. Similarly, this series key was weather wind direction, and now it's weather location LAX and then wind direction. But the data is the same. These two new series keys, weather, location, SFO, and speed, weather, location, SFO, and direction, are data that come from our new weather station. I'll read this series in plain English terms again. According to this series, the weather measurement indicates that in San Francisco, the wind speed was 17.7 knots at 10.15, at 10.20 was 18.5 knots, and the wind speed was 18.7 knots at 10.25. You can see that still, all of the data stored in this measurement can be found in these four series. 
One more time, TSM stores these data in four series on disk. A series is a value that changes over time. And TSM stores every series as a column on disk. Now in this data set, we have four series before we had two series. So before we would have said that this data has cardinality two, and now we'll say that this data has cardinality four because there are four TSM series. So the quantity of series is something we refer to as cardinality. Now that you understand a little more about the internal data model of our storage engine TSM, you should be able to build a more smart schema for your data and a more performant application. This has been an overview of the InfluxDB TSM internal data model. You should now understand better how TSM stores your measurement data on disk. Can't wait to see what you build next.